Back in the day, most of the timber was transported on the rivers by tying the logs together into big wooden rafts. Traveling by raft is an amazing experience. It can either be calm and peaceful, or there might just be a dangerous dam or waterfall lurking just around the corner. Together with some friends, I traveled to the Glomma River in Norway, bringing minimal supplies like rope and inflatable mattresses to build two big rafts to explore the river with. This is what happened. <laughs> Here we are, building day one. Oh, where have we got? There we go, first raft over here. So we also have girls in this trip, which is quite weird, but as you can see, we do have girls. And then the last but not the least, <laughs> the man who doesn't need to ask nothing to no one because he's got everything he needs. <laughs> True, <Gosh. sir>. Of course. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Dinner one, campsite one. We might be leaving tonight, we might be dying tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, um, the size of the whole time. The Glomma River has many dams, which made it necessary to build the rafts in a way where they could easily be carried across. Behind the first dam there was some pretty rough white water, so we took down just the rafts and only a few people to try to cross it. Okay, here we go! We made it! Drying operations. Yeah. All right. Mm, that looks great. Okay, so just pass the plates um, towards me. Yes!
logical to put everything in one big bag and you always know it's on the bottom. <laughs> Bert? Be careful, Daniel. Oh, there's... You want us to have a rope on you? Come, <laughs> nice butt. <laughs> yeah, mostly like no one's ever. Huh? 